I'm just back from the grocery store. Typical French grocery store, nothing fancy. And this is not to make you jealous or me jealous, but these are just a few things you can buy that I think are so thoughtful to put in a grocery store and that we can't get. For example, a piece of pumpkin, just a piece. You don't have to buy the whole thing. You can also buy a branch of celery. You don't have to buy the whole packet. That's thinking for people who are never going to consume a whole pumpkin alone. Another thing I love is lardon. It's bacon. It's not the world's best bacon, but it's already cut into tiny little pieces and just the right amount in each packet for when you're making a saute or starting some kind of stew. You can just throw it in the pan and get started right away. Great product. I know we can get creme fraiche, but and this is also not the best creme fraiche in the world. But this is just a little thing of it, which costs a euro 40, which is nothing. And it's nice and thick and creamy. Look at that. It's not the real, you know, unctuous stuff from Normandy, but still for the price, our creme fraiche is so expensive, it's ridiculous. So I wish we could get it like that. Now, exotic department. Well, exotic. This is just in the rayon, but these are preserved lemons. But you see, they're lovely little things done in a salt brine. See those cute little lemons? And you just chop them up, chop up the peel, and you use them in tagines or you can puree them and use them as a condiment. They're absolutely delicious lemons transformed. This is one of my very favorites, the buckwheat crepe. Now these are fantastically versatile. They're healthy for one thing. You can heat them up, you can fill them with things and roll them, you can just eat them with a fried egg. And one of my favorite tricks is to brush them with butter and cut them into strips. And then you pop them in the oven at 400 for five minutes and you get the most exquisite, crisp, long crackers. Fantastic for soups. Now look, here's cornichon. Now we, of course, get cornichon at home, but you know when you're always digging around trying to get those cornichons out? Here, there's a little thing inside the cornichon jar that means you can lift it up and there's a cornichon right there at the top within your grasp. Thinking. Down towards the end, here's another product. Not the most beautiful, not the most exotic, but these are cooked beets. So when you're really in a rush and you don't have an hour to spend cooking a beet, you can buy these, chop them up, a little goat's cheese, a few walnuts, and dinner is done very quickly. And last but not least, one of my favorite, I love these little yogurt pots. First of all, the yogurt inside is delicious and it's so creamy, delicious yogurt. But these are terracotta pots painted this lovely lavender color so that when you've eaten the yogurt, which is deliciously creamy, you just then wash these out and you can make a collection and have wonderful little jars for peau de crème desserts. Thoughtful. So those are just a few things from a typical grocery store that I would love to be able to get at home. I hope the grocery stores are listening.